Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime, ain't no mountain he can't climb. Welcome back, everyone. This is Let's Play Transformers. This is Evil Tim. And this is the Antarctic. It's like the Arctic with ants. That's not an ant. That's a flying silver thing. It's going to scan this facility with his laser beam, looking for some stuff. And it's going to find some stuff, and it's going to come back. It's going to flip up its thing. It's found a penguin. There we go. It fires up the flare to notify the penguins have been found. And in comes their giant penguin finding battleship. Thereafter, to deploy its dropships. There they go, out they go, and they're all going to fly forward. Flown by incompetence and stupids, and an army of incompetence and stupids follows. That flies into our face. Ow, I got damn eye. That was very rude of it. Right, we're going to come out of the uh, portal. We're going to shoulder barge out of the portal. Why? Why the hell not? We're Optimus Prime, bitch. We can do whatever the hell we like. Will accompany you as your Except recycle Chuck Norris jokes to be Optimus Prime jokes, flight. because Give we are not that desperate for humor yet. He's talking on the spot. Be careful. He you are fucking tiny. When he is you are smaller than my toe. What in the living hell are you going to do? Please respond. Will right, okay, we're going to respond. We are going to respond by bouncing him off our fender, which we do by walking backwards slightly, transforming, and... BAM! Fuck off. <laughs> you are useless. <laughs> Right, so now that we've finished bullying our minicon, we get a call that would tell us that Wankbeard doesn't know what the hell's going on. Uh, we had better move forward through this canyon. He's detected minicon signatures ahead. De blah de blah de blah. We're going to meet our first scout now. That is a scout. It's there. Look at it. There we go. It's that silver thing from the intro. We're going to shoot it. All right, if it spots you with its laser, it will fire up a flare. If it fires up a flare, it'll call down a dropship. The dropship can anything from, in some cases, two heavy units, a tank, to just a bunch of light or medium units, which makes you wonder why they even bothered in that particular instance. The Dropships also do not check if their destination is the same as another dropship's destination. We will see the result of that shortly. <laughs> they also have a light blaster which they will annoy you with if um, they are allowed to send up a flare because then they'll start ducking around and attacking you like little bastard attack ducks. Attack ducks? It's a common phenomenon. You don't know about it in the US, but it happens here all the time. You'll be walking along the street and an attack duck will jump out. Dagger clutched between its teeth. It will threaten you. It will try to take away your livelihood, your girlfriend, internet girlfriend, girlfriend, and then it will force you to do a jumping puzzle like this one. Attack Ducks made this game. Fear, people, fear. Right, now, we've been told we can power links with our minicon. We can power links with our minicon. Woohoo. Right, I'll explain that. Actually, I'll explain that after we've done this bit, because uh, there's something funny is about to happen. <laughs> Right, that sends up its flare, which means the dropship turns up. The dropships have a slightly unfortunate feature, however, which is that splash damage weapons go straight through their armor and damage the minicons inside, the Decepticons inside, meaning this one has just delivered a cargo of dead Decepticlones. Okay, it's going to shoot that on the way out. Uh, okay, Power Links Mode. Power Links Mode is a gimmick of the Armada toy line again. It is where you can attach minicons to the toy to either give it features or some of them just turn into weapons. So it might, you know, flip up a missile launcher, it might make the toy say something, light up something, whatever. In this one it accesses bullet time, however. It's the, uh, it's not the aiming assist max pain bullet time, it is the everything moves slow except you bullet time. It's the best kind of bullet time. This is Hawkeye, he is Thermal Vision, he is, um, Transformer Thermal Vision, Energon Vision, which is the Energon. He's got a great big scope thing on his head, like Perceptor, only he isn't shit. Mind you, it doesn't take much to be less shit than, than Perceptor, you know, uh, breathing is the normal way of doing it. Okay, so we're going to turn him on anyway, here we go, we can look through his Energon Vision, which lets us see the world in green and, and orangey yellow. Uh, anything that's orangey yellow is uh, something bad or us. Okay, that's highly regular smoke. It looks fairly regular smoke to me, but I'm not to get on a radio, so what the hell would I know? I'm get on the internet. Woo, right, please acknowledge. I acknowledge that I'm going to completely ignore what you just said about using stealth, you daffy cunt. Okay, we're going to press that button. We're going to ju jump to Autobot headquarters. I'm going to cut it out, but uh, that is to get Deflector back, because Energon Vision is no good for what I'm going to do. It's useful if you want to sneak around, Pip. Seriously, who the hell wants to do that? That's, that's for stupids, and people called Jeff. And those people, not interested. They don't play this game. So, we're going to make our way across the ice cap. We're going to jump up here, we're going to jump up here, and there's water. Yes, water kills us. I've picked another game where water kills us. Oh, joy. Yes, yes, we are not properly sealed against waters. Right, we're going to try to shoot this guy. We're going to fail, so he's going to send up his flare. Way. 
Right, that's uh, that's going to call in dropships. That's going to call in dropships. They're all going to call in fucking dropships. Woo! It's kicking off now, boys. It's real kicking off now. So, we're going to get in there. We're going to start smacking these guys about. And along comes a dropship. Along comes two dropships. And this one hasn't checked where the other one's going. You see that one? You see that one? What do you think is going to happen when they try to go into the same place? They explode, yeah. And that's going to happen twice in this level. It's fucking brilliant. You know... In games, you shouldn't complain about glitches, but when they're this fucking funny, uh, <laughs> you can't. It's just not right. It's not on. It's not allowable. Not by the people, not by the Soviet, not by the proletariat. The proletariat is the people. Oh, God. I read my Karl Marx while I was drunk and asleep in that order. Yes, well, that's your problem. Anyway. We're gonna headbutt this guy in slow motion. Fuck off. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Bob Fighter 2. Now we're gonna climb down into the trench. We're gonna wreck up some other stuff. He sends off another flare. Because, you know, it's his job. It's not like he has anything yet. better to do. So, we're gonna blow up even more people. Hey, his body parts shall rain across the landscape like a rain of rain. Refreshing and rejuvenating everything with metals. And he's probably inconveniencing any penguins that happen to still be around, but I think the Decepticons have kidnapped all the penguins, so that, that, that was their plan all along. Fuck the Minicons, they need the penguins. He didn't live. Yeah, p -p -p pick up a penguin. Anyway, p -p power links, and we're gonna, power links, we're gonna destroy that guy. Now, power linksing, the problem with it is it eats your energon, it eats it quite fast, actually, as you can see, and it gives you half the energon that you invest in it back. So, it's a bit problematic unless you have a team of uh, four Minicons of the same colour. You might have noticed uh, the Minicon team bonus in the previous level. Uh, Glazius asked about something tangentially associated with this. Uh, the Minicon team bonus is if you have two Minicons of the same colour, uh, stackable, you will get a bonus to your Energon. You can, this can get up to an entire extra bar, it depends on the team. Um, if you have yellow and red, I think you would get an entire extra bar of energy. If you have uh, three Minicons of the same colour, you will get yourself a boost to your power links. You will be able to power links for longer, it will use less energon. If you have all, th all four Minicons of the same colour, it will uh, also increase the recharge rate of your weapons. Your weapons will recharge faster, that means it even the weak weapons become more deadlier, and that skips over there, and we get some nice uh, windblown smoke effect -y. And there's a tank over there! Oh yeah! About time we met a tank, isn't it? So, we've got these guys skittering around, we've got that thing trying to blast us with its blast gun. So, we're gonna blast it back, and we're gonna be significantly more successful, Mr. Squire. Significantly. You stop steaming at me. And he shoots my minicon and he <laughs> And Sparkplug falls the fuck over just from being blasted like that. Way. Okay, he's gonna shoot you, and shoot you, and you're gonna blow up. Woo! Is he? Weapons get deadlier and deadlier. And this dropship comes in. It's gonna drop a load of these these guys again, and we are going to shoot it for the privilege of trying. These guys here are gonna run around. We're gonna smack them about. We're gonna shoot them. We're gonna do all sorts of unpleasant things to them. It's great fun. Take this, guy. You fuck off. <laughs> Right enough of you. Right, and this guy, he, you are not getting any billing in the sequel. Oh god, I'm not going to be in the sequel, I prepared so hard. And that guy, he can go away as well, slow motion headbutt. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. This is the way we kick ass, ladies and gentlemen. Optimus Prime style. We use our head, it's full of cement and we can use it as a hitter. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves a new Minicon. Minicon we're going to use much, 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 much later on in the game. We're going to use it to fight the second incarnation of Starscream. What, you thought you'd only fight Starscream once? Don't be ridiculous. He's Starscream. Come on. Right, so we have uh, more guys to kill. we got more tanks to kill. Our objective here is to get over to that icebreaker you can see in the distance. Because that has another nice needle glitch on it. It has a transform gem glitch. It allows us to get a minicon we're not supposed to have yet. I'm so fairly sure we're not supposed to have it. The way the thing is structured implies that you're supposed to have slipstream before you can get it. But, you know, every guide I've ever seen says you can get that first. Yeah, notice our uh, little minicon there is actually shooting at things, which is nice of it. Okay, that tank, another tank. Got more dropships coming in. All sorts of havoc is breaking loose. There's actually two heavy units over that way, uh, you know, just in case you thought that this game was going to ease up at all, ever. No, it's not. Don't be stupid. 
So we're going to make our way further across the ice clap, ice cap, ice clap. Ugh. Right, and then uh, oh look, it's a bunch of guys. They're just having a nice walk, leisurely walk by themselves. Hey there, guys. Can I walk with you? Oh God, splat. That's why we don't let you goddamn Autobots walk with us. This is why we can't have nice things. And you'll notice uh, off in the distance briefly that uh, two more dropships have collided with each other. Meanwhile, we're like, oh, the humanity! Because we got shotted. And so we shoot at the back, and we'd better take more care of that spider tank over there before it hits us with its giant beam. Because uh, that's, that's a mean physics beam, and we don't like mean physics beams, so we had better evade it. Okay, so we got some more walking around him to do. We're gonna strafe around you, we're gonna shoot you, and you're gonna die. No, I'm not gonna die, you're gonna die. Take this. Hey, boom. And he's utterly dead and defeated and generally unpopular. So we're gonna walk over here, we're gonna shoot his friend, and then we're gonna turn around, we're gonna get to the icebreaker. And there it is. It seems to have stopped breaking the ice. That's no good. Stupid humans. Okay, so we activate that, and we've got to kill the guys on the deck over here, and then we can try a transform jump, which is a neat little glitch. we got to like those. And so he blows up, he blows up, he blows up, and then we jump, we transform, we fuck it up the first time. You see, it didn't work. However, jump, transform, and jump, and there we go, we're on the deck. The idea is to transform, get stuck on something, and then transform again to flip up over it. And for the uh, mighty privilege of exploiting bugs, we get Lookout. He is an Energon sniper rifle. He gives us an extra zoom level. He can critical hit most enemies, getting them in one hit, except heavy units, which take three hits, and tanks, which it can't critical hit at all, because that would be just too generous of it. So we're going to walk away over here. We're going to find a heavy unit. There's a heavy unit. We're going to shoot him. Take that. Take that in the small of your heavy unit type back. And he's like, oh, ow, that's mean of you, Optimus Prime. That's terribly mean of you. I was involved in the war, you see. I'm not going to take any more of your shit, young'un. Come here. I'm going to show you what it was like to pilot a Spitfire for 33 years. And I'm like, ah. No, you're not, Mr. Heavy Unit. And he's like, oh, oh, God, my God. Dump my bum knee. I lost that in the war, you know. And we're like, ah, ha, ha. and then we're going to kill his friend. We're going to kill his friend. Take this, and then we're going to gonna walk around him, and you're going to be like, eat special effect, bitch. And he's like, what the fuck? Everything has slowed down. And we're like, ah, ha, ha. we're still fast. And he's like, stupid is as stupid does. And then he blows up. Right, and then we've got the highly irregular smoke, which is still just as regular as it ever was. Thank you, thank you, Wankbeard. And we've got to continue walking around it, and then we transform into a truck. So we can charge forward and smack spark plug over there again. Yeah, silly bastard. Right, we're going to try and run these guys over in our truck form, but we fail it up. Son, you have failed to run people over in your truck form. I'm afraid it's going to have to decommission you. No, Dad, please, I'll be good. I'll, I'll, I'll be real good again, Pa. I'll, I'll go in the power links mode. I'm gonna beat these guys up. You'll see, Pa. You'll be proud of me. No, son. I'm never gonna be proud of you again. You might as well just shoot yourself, set your balls on fire, and throw yourself into a refrigerator. In that order. Yep. Afraid so. Oh, God. I, I blew myself up. Hey, you see, you're a failure, son. You're a terrible failure, and you're gonna go to hell. Gonna have to shoot these, these guys here, and, uh, even that won't be enough to appease me, son. Oh, God. I, I've screwed up in front of my dad. I'm never gonna be a man again. You were never a man to begin with, son. Oh, is that why you call me Doris? Yep. Right, so we're gonna shoot this guy. We should stop hiding, you weird little pussy. Bang, and he explodes. Because that's what people do around here, you know. I guess we can't knock their customs, stupid as they are. And here is a crashed C-130. All the humans in this game are dead. Most of them have been dead for hundreds of years, admittedly, they're Mayan, Zincans, or whatever. These guys have been dead for significantly less time, so we have no quest to protect puny humans or their structures. We can blow up whatever the hell we like. So we will. Alright, that was Slapshot, he's a grenade launcher. He amusingly enough launches grenades. Nades, 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 woohoo! Nade vest. Uh, but we're not going to use him because I prefer missiles, uh, and I stand by that. So we're going to go over here towards the last checkpoint. That is, that's Wankbeard telling us that uh, the facility which is to our left is important. 
and got minicons in it and stuff. Alright, press that button, and then we can actually look at the facility to our left, which is there. There's a heavy unit, there's a bunch of light units, there's a bunch of medium units, there are some scouts. So it's all good. Right, we're gonna go over there, we're gonna shoot him just to anger him, we're gonna blow up all his friends, they're gonna send up their flares, that's useless, piss off you, I don't like your style. Get out of here, no one likes your style. Right, so we're gonna walk around here, we're gonna shop with a heavy unit, and we're gonna quickly make our way around the back of the facility so that we can use Spark Jump, which is a new blaster minicon. Yes, it's finally time to get rid of this wheezy old piece of shit. Right, this is Spark Jump, he is an electrical arc gun. What is an electrical arc gun? It's a lightning beam, it can hit multiple targets at once. By arcing off them all, the only problem is it's rubbish, and it doesn't do much damage to any of them, so you sort of went away bothering at all, really. But fuck it, it's better than our default blaster, then again most things are. So, here we go. We're gonna shoot the heavy unit with it, it's not really gonna take that much damage from it, and we're gonna shoot him with failsafe, which will actually do damage to him. Right, and there he goes, you're gonna blow up, and in come the dropships. It's about time they showed up. Sadly, none of them are gonna crash into each other. But it was a nice try. So, we got our big stompy robot here, we got our small stompy robot following him around. Stop following him around. Yeah, you shoot him, Minicon. You do the job. I'm gonna go home and have a cigarette. A robot cigarette, made of robotic things. Robo cigarettes. They are the best, made out of 100% robot tobacco. What the hell is that? Anyway, so we've got a bunch more guys who turned up, but we can kill all of them at once. Woohoo! Eat electrical arcs. And they all blow up. Bits go everywhere. And we are under no obligation to preserve any part of this uh, facility, so we can blow up pretty much whatever the hell parts we like. Well, hey, in fact, uh, the game actually encourages us to do this, because there's many concerns of it. So that blows up, bits fly everywhere, well, hey, but I've heard this game has frame rate problems, but what, what? Where? I mean, it's not slowing down, even when there's like hundreds of bits of everything flying around. So we destroyed that, we've got um, guys dodging behind the buildings, we're not going to put up with that. We're going to destroy that shit anyway. Take that, stupids. So we fire more missiles at them from our good old, um, no, it's not, it's not failsafe, what the hell's it called? Um, flashbang? Yeah, flashbang. Failsafe is a heavy homing missile, it is not this nice uh, light twin. Un gum it's a dumb fire missile, I'm surprised no one pointed that out. It is not a homing missile. Right, so we got more guys to blow up, we got these irritating little scouts who are dodging around trying not to be blown up. That's not on. It's not your job to not be blown up. Double negative, bitch. Come on. It's time for you to be double negatized. And he gets electrified, and I think eventually the Minicon kills him. Because uh, he keeps dodging around, he's dodging kind of fellow, and yeah, the Minicon shoots him. Woohoo! Right, so he's blown up, and we've already got two more Minicons to get here, and then we can come on to the next video, which is the boss fight. The boss fight is Starscream, it is not Chris Latter. Prepare yourself to be disappointed now if you thought it was. What do you think they were going to do? Dig him up? He's been dead for eight years, you silly bastards. Anyway, we've got our first minicon here. What's well, the second minicon here, actually? This is High Gear. He is a evasion minicon. He lets a stealth dash. He looks like he turns into a plane or something. Or a sports car. Or both, even. You never know, really. Okay, so he can go back to HQ because we don't need him yet. We're going to use him to start the next mission instead, so fuck you. Alright, we're going to stomp our way around back here. We're going to show another glitch in this level. Yeah, do you see all these other ways between the buildings to get to that one in the middle, which uh, the missiles skip off the roof of because of physics? That building there? Yeah, any way to walk towards it would normally trigger the boss fight, except this one, because they've missed a boss trigger area, which is this diagonal here. If you walk in this way, it won't trigger the boss fight. If you walk in any other way, it will. So I think we're not supposed to be able to get build up here. Yeah, this is build up. He is a green minicon which causes your energy energy on to constantly increase. And there isn't much time left on this video. Uh, I will cut out the part where I actually used build up to get all my energy back. We're looking through a building for some reason. Place safeguard with build up, and everybody go and shunt over to the boss fight with Starscream while I stand here off video. Have a good one. Goodbye.